Right, this is my MetaQuest 3. And yes, I am returning it. <sighs> so let's talk about it then. Okay, uh, MetaQuest 3, well, how do I feel about it? Um, I've had it for about a week, just over a week. And some of bits are good, but some bits are not. I got the um, I got the five twelve gigabyte version, the bigger version, um, because I got the small Quest Two, and having room for games was always a problem. So I got the bigger one, this one. Um, what do I think about it? Uh, okay, let's start with. Um, lenses and clarity. Uh, I started playing with it the way I normally do. Glasses off, headset on and I thought oh yeah you know I, I went through the the setup a bit strange it doesn't really uh, lead you through the IPD settings the way that like even the original uh, CV1 used to do. There doesn't seem to be any help there it just says Oh, adjust it until it's uh, clear. What? Anyway, um, so it did that and then played with it for a while, um, almost until it completely ran out of battery, which we'll get onto that later. Um, and it didn't feel very well. And I thought, I don't understand why this is happening. Um, you know. Uh, so then I um, thought, well, I better just see i can figure out why that was obviously you know you can see i wear glasses but normally in vr headsets i don't need to i think it's because i'm like far-sighted anyway it seems like the pancake lenses or the way that oculus quest 3 is set up i do need to wear my glasses when i'm inside the headset now that is a bit of a barrier for me to be honest because I don't like the idea that my glasses are that close to the lenses of the headset. It really freaks me out because I just think they're just going to scratch. Either my glasses are going to get scratched or the lenses are going to get scratched and then that's it. They're just going to be toast because if those if glass comes into contact with glass, that's, that's it, effectively game over. So that freaked me out straight away. But the only way I can get clarity in the headset is to wear my glasses inside the headset and you can do that i mean the headset is not comfortable i don't care what anyone says it isn't um you know the the facial gasket is not soft um in order to get the headset fixed to my head i do have to tighten it quite a lot um i think anyone with long hair is going to have that problem you know long hair is just slippery you, you, if I can have it down low on the back of my head it it tries to slip up and then and then it becomes loose uh, and the, the strap needs to be low on the back of my head uh, for that to work um, otherwise you know it's loose I try and tighten the top strap and then it pulls it up and then it's loose again so you have to tighten it quite tight and uh, when it's quite tight it's not comfortable so so I mean obviously I could get a, a battery head strap and you need them you need one you definitely need one uh, like one of the main features of this headset is the pass-through the pass-through is okay I mean it's way better than probably everything up to the Apple Vision Pro in terms of like color and things like that but I mean it's it's grainy but it's usable it's not bright but it's okay um, so yeah it has a few um, mixed reality experiences so uh, played Damio uh, played almost all the way through one uh, level of Damio and the battery's dead isn't it because the battery on this is absolutely hopeless it is hopeless hopeless it's way too the battery life's way too short uh, I know they've made the headset smaller but why why because you clearly compromised its usability by making it have such a short battery life it's it's ridiculous 
I was going to say it's ridiculous Oculus, but it's ridiculous Meta. Um, so yeah, battery life is shockingly short. The controllers, however, are very good. I played uh, in Death Unchained, and normally when you're doing a bow, you, I like to actually put the controller where it should be if you if you were doing a bow, which is right against your cheek, and it tracked, which is a first. Quest Two is shit for that, absolutely terrible. So Quest Two cannot do that. Quest Three seems to handle it really well. So impressed with the new controllers. I thought the controllers look really wacky. Um, but it seems that they're actually good. So well done there. Ticks ticks everywhere for that. Um, why am I sending it back though? Okay, because I never buy anything uh, full price if I can possibly avoid it. I got it from Amazon Warehouse, uh, like 50 quid off. Uh, sold as new, but with damaged box. And I thought, okay, well that's good. 50 quid is 50 quid. Well, when all said and done, this is an expensive headset. It's way more money than the Quest 2 was when it was new. Um, obviously you're getting more features, uh, but it's significantly more expensive and therefore could well be a barrier to entry. I don't know how well they're selling, but anyway. Uh, the battery compromises. And the com comfort still, I mean, come on. Anyway. <laughs> and then having to wear glasses kind of sucks. I'm so used to just taking them off, putting the headset on, uh, and now you'd think it'd be easier, right? But no, you have to be like really careful putting it on, and you're going to put the strap on, and you're going to tighten the strap. By the way, that is really hard to do. <laughs> it's really hard to do, the, the strap. Um, you need both hands. So like the first experience you're going to have with Quest 3 is, is trying to get the, the strap right. You need a third hand to do that because the the way the strap tightens at the back, look, this, this rubbish here, this, this, the way this tightens at the back requires you to use two hands. You you have to do this, but and all the time you're doing that, the headset's falling off your face. Anyway, geniuses, geniuses there, geniuses. That's why most people have a knob that you can do with one hand. So you can hold it with one hand and tighten it with the other. Actually, one of the, one extra thing I will say about the pass-through on the Quest 3 is is very distorted. Very distorted. Like, if you're trying to read your phone, you can read your phone, which is incredible that you can read your phone, but it looks like some kind of weird twisted bent phone uh, that's kind of 3D. Like, the parts of your, the top part of your phone will appear to be in front of the middle part of your phone, which, and your the bottom part of your phone will be in a different plane as well. It's very strange. Anyway, so yeah, pass through. Yeah, good, but not great. Certainly not optically great. Uh, definitely not perfect. Um, but better than what you can get for less than an Apple Vision Pro, Pro, I guess. Anyway, that's that. But why am I sending it back then? Uh, why am I sending back this headset? Well, the fact is, um, I bought it from Amazon Warehouse as new, but with damaged box. And when I went to register the headset, uh, I expected to be able to get the benefits of Asgard's Wrath 2 and the Quest Plus subscription. But it turns out, no. And I get in contact with Meta and they say, oh, well, it's, you know, it should come through as an email. And I'm like, okay. I said, just check your settings that you haven't turned off email notifications. I checked everything. I gave them all my data uh, and checked that. No, that's definitely not the problem. And then they said, uh, okay, uh, give me your receipt. So I sent them details of the receipt. And I went, mm, okay. And then they asked me for the serial number. And I gave them the serial number. And then they told me that someone else had registered this headset before in December. And that... Uh, because it was an automatic process, they couldn't, um, even though I bought this as a new headset, albeit with a damage box, um, that they couldn't give me the Quest Plus subscription for six months or Asgard's Wrath 2, and my only recourse was back to Amazon. And it seems the only thing that I can do is send the headset back. So that's what I'm going to have to do, uh, which seems like a terrible environmental decision. Um, but apparently that is my only option. 
so that is what I'll have to do. So I guess the uh, second question is, am I going to miss it? I don't know is the answer to that. Um, I don't know. I mean, the the pass through mixed reality stuff, I don't think you can really use that effectively because it's so distorted and different from uh, the created content in terms of how it looks. Um, they haven't done all of the things that Apple have done in terms of uh, making the created content look like it fits in uh, in any way with the your ambient lighting conditions or whatever they happen to be. So clearly a lot of work in processing was done by Apple to make that look compelling and realistic, whereas Meta can't do that or won't. Um, so and I don't know if the battery life is long enough when the, with it all turned on um, for you to actually be able to effectively use it. I mean, if you can't get through a a, a level, you know, a, a full campaign of Damio with a with one battery charge, then or even one one level, one third of it uh, of a campaign with one battery charge, then why what what does it add? <laughs> what does it add if? You, if you're having to plug yourself in uh, to try and try and keep it charged, so uh, yeah, it, it starts to become more of an inconvenience than a convenience, doesn't it? So uh, I didn't use it all that much. I haven't used it all that much. Um, obviously, there might be some other uses uh, on some other websites uh, that you might find for the color pass through. That's all I'm going to say, uh, but other than that, I don't know. I really don't know. So uh, I'm going to send it back and then uh, think about whether, whether we're getting another one. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll let you know. But that's where we're at now. I mean, I went, as I went through uh, the support and they said no. Um, they would rather that I sent the headset back uh, uh, then give me even though I sent the receipt and everything seemed to be above board as far as I'm concerned in terms of I bought a brand new headset albeit with the damaged box they're like nah <laughs> it's automatic we, we can't help you um, you've got to deal with Amazon uh, and I'm like okay then uh, tell me how to factory reset it then and, uh, and we'll go from there so that's where we're at that's the heads up. That's where my where I am on Quest Three. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, the lenses, the lenses." They're not great for me <laughs> because I have to wear glasses in there. Clarity, yeah, nice, nice clarity with glasses on, but it terrifies me because I don't want to be moving around uh, with uh, my glasses on inside the headset. I don't, I don't want to be doing that. I'm just going to be worrying about it the whole time. So, I mean, I, I know there's like lens inserts you can get, and I guess I should get those. Um, and if I wasn't sending it back, I'd probably be doing that and also uh, buying a battery head strap so that the thing doesn't die on me uh, instantly. So, and make it comfortable. But then it starts to get really expensive, and then you, you're looking at what turns out, you know, what isn't that cheap to start with, it starts to get very much more expensive than that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, but in Death Unchained, uh, you're quite pleased with the the controllers. I was wondering whether I needed to upgrade to uh, the Pro controllers. Um, so it was interesting to try that out and not be uh, unimpressed by those. So yeah, controllers are alright. Headset's kind of alright, but not comfortable. You have to wear your glasses in it. Uh, now I don't know what they've done there. They've changed the focal length or something. Anyway, that's where we're at. It's going back. Okay, let me just add one more gripe. Given that they know that the battery life on this headset is woefully poor, right, and that you're going to probably want to charge it while you're in, the, in a game session, why did they give you a cable... A power cable that's a meter long. 
it's a joke. It's a joke. Given that they know it's not going to last more than about an hour and a half or possibly even less than that if you've not fully charged it and left it on charge, then why would they give you a power cable that's only a metre long? There's absolutely no way you're going to be like using this plugged into a power socket is there with a one metre cable. Nice charging block, by the way. Yeah, that's good. It's quite fast to charge. It's clearly like quite high uh, power charger, charging block, but um, which they wrap in paper for some unknown reason. Oh, give it its own little condom. Why? Protect it. Protect the surface. It's shiny. Who gives a sh Anyway. Protect it in paper. Anyway, yeah. Ridiculous. Woefully short uh, uh, charging cable. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're going to need your own one. I, I Maybe it's because it's delivering so much power. They uh, uh, so fast. It, it, you know. And they don't, well, they don't want you to use it as a link cable, do they? They want you to buy the expensive link cable. So they couldn't possibly give you a good, obviously it's packaging. And I'm sure it's all just down to a price. But given that you know the battery life is so woeful, it's just another little bit of it. Just another little insult, isn't it? Just another little thing that you're going to have to buy to make it usable. Just one more little thing. Anyway, rant over, rant over. Let's go back. Let's go back. Bye. That's all I've got for you this time, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right then, bye.